gentlemen, the great Osvaldo Ardiles. <laughs> So this is the music of your movie, because you acted in a movie, eh? and this was the, the music. That was, uh, yes, uh, good evening everybody. <laughs> uh, that was the music of the movie, Escape to Victory, <laughs> that we did uh, with some wonderful, wonderful players, uh, people like uh, Stallone, Sylvester Stallone, wonderful player, uh, Michael Caine as well. Uh, and of course, Pelé, Bobby Moore, and so on. So, yes. So, you've been also an actor, not <laughs> only a football star. <laughs> yes, yes. And what do you remember about that day when you won the World Championship with Argentina? Well, when we won the, um, the, World, Champ the World Cup, it was absolutely wonderful, of course. It was, uh, I mean, it's a lot of uh, different feelings that you, you feel in that particular moment. But I would say probably the number one was kind of relief that you have done. But you wanted to do. Your dream all your life about winning something as big and so when you do that it's absolutely wonderful. And you've been the star of the Tottenham uh, club and you have uh, still many many fans there. Well yes, uh, I, I'm still, I work for the club, I am an ambassador for the club, the Tottenham is uh, for me the best, best club in the world, it's one of the best clubs in the world but for me the very very best so uh, I'm delighted to be there all the time every time we play so uh, I'm, we are doing pretty well right now so very happy and uh, which is for you the best quality to be a winner Ooh, to be a winner you need to have a lot of uh, qualities one of them is to be humble trying to learn all the time you have to have a big, big love for the sport, um, and you have to be lucky as well. And basically, I would say the big, big difference between winner and non-winners is in your head. Um, yeah, the head. Somehow, it's, uh, yeah, you yeah. have a, yes, the focus, this, the concentration, the determination, determination, the courage to play yeah, when courage. sometimes it's very difficult. And yes, it is. Yeah. And uh, which is your wish for the future of football? Well, I hope that football is at the moment is uh, football is in a very good um, state of affair. I mean, it's very very popular. It's the number one, probably the number one sport in the world, and I hope it continues for like that for a long, long, long time. Um, and of course, I mean, we are in the table with Brazilian people, and we have to pay a lot of respect for them. They have some wonderful players in the in the past, people like Pele and, and Garinja and so many others. We do have a lot of very good players as well, so uh, the future looks very, very promising indeed. Oh, good. And what this recognition as a world sport legend represents for you? Sorry? What this recognition as a oh, sport a, legend represents for you? First, uh, I would like to say thank you very much for, for the award. and. We are honored course, that you are here. Of course, mm -hmm. well, I am honored as well to be here. And the recognition means that I have to work even, even harder to make uh, football, in my case, but the sport in general, even more popular. I believe that sport represents the, the best of uh, humanity in a lot, a lot of ways. Uh, it's always good to be in part of the team and fighting for the team. And this is where you have camaraderie, you have friends, and so on. So, And that gives me. This award gave me a kind of uh, more responsibility to carry on doing that. Yes. <laughs> so it's time to award you. Okay. So please, Lorenzo Frateschi.